Good morning, esteemed guests, fellow engineers and distinguished participants. Mr. Liyakat Ali Sikda, the chairman of Akesh Dipankar University of Science and Technology, the teaching faculty and my dear students. This day is celebrated each year on 4th March to highlight the achievements of engineers and engineering in our modern world and improve the public understanding of how engineering and technology is central to modern life and sustainable development. This year's celebration also coincides with the launch of a new UNESCO Global Report on Engineering titled Engineering for Sustainable Development Delivering on the Sustainable Development Goals The report's five chapters analyze successively how engineering is essential to sustainability and why it should become more diverse and inclusive which are the key innovations that will make a difference in delivering the SDGs, what engineering primary and lifelong education is needed to achieve these objectives and which are the defining engineering trends in the world's regions. I urge everyone to reflect on this report. Today I feel privileged to be with all of you to gather and celebrate the occasion of the World Engineering Day and the remarkable achievements of the engineering community worldwide. This day serves as a testament to the pivotal role that engineers play in shaping the present and forging the path to a sustainable future. Tao Te Ching, a Chinese classic text and foundational work of Taoism written, credited to the sage Lao Tzu, has it that 30 spokes share the wheel's hub. It is the central hole that makes it useful. Shaped clay into a vessel, it is a space within that makes it useful. And cut doors and windows in a room, it is the holes which make it useful. Therefore, benefit comes from what is there Usefulness comes from what is not. I believe this must be the foundational principle for all engineers worldwide. Engineering is not merely about equations, designs or structures. It's a force that transforms ideas into reality, creating solutions that improve lives and drive progress. Elon Musk, a businessman, and an investor and more famously the founder, chairman, CEO and CTO of SpaceX once said, I don't spend my time pontificating about high concept things. I spend my time solving engineering and manufacturing problems. Now what better way than to understand the spirit of engineering? World Engineering Day invites us to reflect on the impact of engineering on our daily lives and its potential to address the global challenges we face. Let's take a moment to acknowledge the countless innovations that engineers have brought forth from groundbreaking infrastructure projects to life-saving medical technologies. Each success stands as a testament to the power of human ingenuity and the ability of engineering to change the world for the better. COVID, unfortunate as it was, also brought about the spirit of human perseverance and ingenuity to the fore on the face of adversities. In India, the scientists came out with not one but two vaccines that played an important and crucial part in halting the forward march of death and destruction not only in India but the world over. There have been some remarkable structures that were engineered 
such as the pyramids of Egypt, the Great Wall of China, and more recently, visionary engineers have undertaken massive transportation and communications projects that have pushed the boundaries of human ingenuity. I would like to recount a few of these great projects that humankind can be really proud of. One of them is the 51 mile Panama Canal that links the Atlantic and the Pacific Oceans. It transformed global trade routes when it opened in 1914, more than 100 years back. The Golden Gate Bridge was the world's longest suspension bridge for 27 years after its opening almost 90 years back in 1937 and it was 1.7 miles in length. It soars above the nearly 400 feet deep strait connecting San Francisco Bay and the Pacific Ocean. But did you know that it had enough cable to circle the globe three times and that the bridge can move more than two feet laterally to withstand the strait's strong winds? Those two were built almost a hundred years back. The modern engineering has been equally fascinating. Currently, the Kanakal Bridge in Turkey holds the longest suspension bridge in the world, world record, since opening to traffic in March 2022, with a span of 2,023 meters or 6,600 odd feet. The Akashi Kaiko Bridge in Japan previously held that record till 1998, which had a span of 1,091 meters. The Mila Viaduct completed in 2004 spans across the valley of the river Tan near Mila in southern France is one such engineering ventures in the world. The bridge's highest tower soars to 1,125 feet making it the tallest cable stayed road bridge in the world. It surpasses the Eiffel Tower, which is at 986 feet. Another is the Venice Tide Bridge Barrier Project, initiated in 2003. It's a very innovative engineering feat, consisting of 78 rotating gates and is designed to keep the seawaters from entering the Venetian lagoon if high tides and storms are, you know, forecast. The bird's nest is another engineering marvel that was designed by the Swiss architects Jacques Herzog and Perry Domura in China for the 2008 Olympic Games and Paralympics and it sits more than 80,000 people. Perhaps one of the more massive innovative engineering feats is the Palm Islands, located off the coast of the United Arab Emirates in the Persian Gulf near Dubai. What is interesting in this, it is the largest man-made set of islands constructed in 2001 by Nakheel Properties, a land developer in the United Arab Emirates. Nearer to whom, the Atal Tunnel, a horseshoe shaped 9.02 km long tunnel, is the world's longest motorable tunnel, 10,000 feet above the sea level, built under the Rohtang Pass in the eastern Panjal range of the Himalayas of the National Highway 3 in Himachal Pradesh. Even the Padma Bridge in Bangladesh will remain an engineering marvel of this century as it has been constructed across the most difficult river in the world. The real challenge was the river itself, which is braided, meaning not straight, and its main channel often shifts from one bank to the other. Engineering is different from science and scientists try to understand nature. 
engineers try to make things that do not exist in nature thereby stressing in invention having said that our scientific world is equally fascinating if engineering combines with science we get marvels like the large hadron collider lhc that has revolutionized the quantum concepts now it has already played a tremendous role in many modern day breakthroughs this modern engineering marvel lies underground in a 574 feet long circular tunnel with a 17 mile circumference now that's absolutely astounding there are thousands of engineering marvels across the world when different disciplines combine we can get even better marvels such as the world wide web it's an absolute wonder or the channel tunnel a 32 mile underwater rail tunnel that links folkestone in england and cockles in france beneath the english channel or chandra x ray observatory built by nasa and many more be that as it may our world is confronted and unprecedented challenges exist climate change resource depletion and social inequality to name a few it is in these challenges that the true metal of engineering is tested as stewards of progress we are duty bound to find innovative sustainable solutions that benefit all the communities our world today thrives on collaboration no engineering feat is achieved in isolation collaboration is the cornerstone of our success engineers scientists policy makers and communities must work hand in hand to address the complex challenges of we face in life let's foster an environment where interdisciplinary collaboration flourishes where diverse perspectives converge to inspire innovative solutions sustainability is no longer an option it's a necessity engineers are at the forefront of developing technologies that minimize environmental impact promote renewable energy and enhance resource efficiency by embracing sustainable practices we can ensure a harmonious coexistence with our planet for generations to come we must remember the triple p bottom line of profit people and the planet unless the planet is protected human species will themselves be or they themselves will be extinct as we celebrate world engineering day let's also recognize the importance of nurturing the next generation of engineers and engineering has always had an essential role in the development of human welfare ensuring that future generations of engineers and scientists will be able to design solutions for local and global challenges is critical education and mentorship are critical in shaping young minds instilling in them the values of creativity resilience and a commitment to ethical engineering practices in conclusion on this world engineering day let's renew our commitment to innovation collaboration and sustainability unesco too is placing a high priority on activities that promote awareness of engineering as a career as well as on those that demonstrate the importance of youth studying science technology engineering and mathematics or we call as stem and together we can engineer a future that's resilient inclusive and flourishing for everyone may our collective efforts continue to inspire and elevate the engineering profession to new heights what john prevel an english journalist novelist and screenwriter 
said is not only interesting but profound. Architects and engineers are among the most fortunate of men and women since they build their own monuments with public consent, public approval and often public money. Let's continue to build them for the welfare of human beings across the world. Let us celebrate the power of engineering to transform the world on this March 4th, the World Engineering Day. Thank you.